Look, it's me again. I'm back with another unboxing. Is that surprising? Probably not, but uh, this time it's another trade. Still not surprising at all. Anyways, um, this time I did a trade with Tech Centers, or Tech Center, on his Instagram. He calls it Tech Centers, but um, his YouTube channel is Tech Center. Anyways, I'll leave a link to his channel down below, and when he does a, a video on his part of the trade, when he gets it, since I got mine really early, actually, um, I'll link that down below or in an iCard or something like that. I don't know. It depends. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, this is coming from Canada, so I'm very surprised that it came really early, but Canadian people are nice, so, I mean, cool. Awesome. Alright, anyways, um, get ready for me to mainly be opening the mystery phone, um, so apparently... He wanted to see me struggle to open the freaking thing on camera, so, I mean, just get ready for pretty much the whole entire video, um, just being me trying to open that. But, anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get into this thing. So, I blocked out everything except for our names, pretty much, so, don't worry, Ethan. Um, let's see. There we go. Voila, I am going to see what this is. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> he's, he says, I hope the mystery phone is or was a pain in the ass to open. I used half a roll of the strongest tape I have. All the phones are reset. Good luck. Thank you. And he says, P.S. Sorry for the bad writing. I'm in a hurry. And then he drew a bunch of penises. Very... Very, okay, I'm just gonna put this to the side. Actually, I'm gonna put it with Ryan's note um, for my other trade video over there. Because I'm keeping that. Oh, I can already tell which one the mystery phone is. It's this. Alright. Well, crap. Um. Alright, alright. Anyways, let's open up this first. I know exactly what this is, I think. So... Let's get into it. Yes, I do. Yay. Okay, I'm really excited for this because now I finally have a better iPhone than my iPhone 6. This is an iPhone 6S. It's in basically mint condition. Actually, it's in, well, it's not mint condition, but it's in really, really good condition. It has a very terrible battery, but I can deal with that. I'll just buy another one off of eBay and do like a restoration video or a repair video. I don't know. Depends, but let's see if it has charge. It most likely doesn't because the battery is just garbage um okay so it doesn't but i'll get to that later um i'm gonna put it on the charger but it is a well before i put it on the charger um it's a 128 gigabyte iphone 6s and yeah it works totally fine it just has a tiny bit of markings on the screen from probably what uh, light water damage or moisture damage but other than that and there's some stuff in the camera as you can see right there Camera's kind of dirty, but I can get rid of that easy, and I don't care about that. So, I'm finally, I'm, I'm glad that I finally have a phone with 3D Touch. As you can see, it's on iOS 11 or 12, I don't remember. But, yeah, there's that. So let's put that to the side. Um, here's one that I'm also really excited for. I'm going to try not to scratch this one. This is a, I'll just wait until... Uh, yeah, that's exactly why. Okay, so here it is. It's a BlackBerry DTEC 50, and it's unlocked, so I'm going to be using this as my main phone, um, and I'm very excited about that because I've always wanted, like, a newer BlackBerry phone. I also have the Classic, which, when I got this, I also said the same thing. I wanted a newer BlackBerry phone, and I got one, which is the Classic, but um, that one doesn't run proper Android. This one does. So, this is an Android phone. I'm definitely using this as my main because my Moto X4 needs to retire. Um, okay, I guess this one's dead as well. But, yeah, there it is. Put that on the charger, and as you can see, it works. I'll make one of my really crappy screen, uh, tape screen protectors for it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, okay, I get it. That's the power button. That is so weird. All right, let's turn this thing on. And there you go. 
I didn't know that was a power button. I thought this was the power button. That looks like the power button, but I guess it's not. Maybe it's a standby button or something, but this is the actual power button. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, here it is. That's a really cool boot-up screen, actually. I like that. Let's get into freaking... Ah, this phone. The mystery phone. You know what? I'm going to stop the recording because it's probably going to stop itself because of how long it's going to take to get this thing out. But, yeah. Okay, anyways. Let's see. How am I supposed to get this thing out? Aha, I've got a lead. Ugh, I'm cutting that. Sorry, Ethan. Alright, there we go. Now, the challenge is to not use my razor blade anymore while trying to get this out. Oh, for f Shut up, Brian. Oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Oh my god. Wait, I gotta lead. Aha. Dang it. Aha. Nope, never mind. Wait, yes. Okay. Anyways, here's this part. Ah, uh, sorry. Ooh, I can see it. I should save this crap. You know what? I might save this. Got another lead. Ah. There we go. Wait. Oh. Okay. Got another one. Oh my god. Ooh, wait. Here's one. Aha. Never mind. Oh my god, I'm coming up on the last stretch, dude. Never mind, there's still more tape. Oh, oh god. Oh, stop getting stuck on the other tape. It's not how you work. Oh, the iPhone's turning on. <laughs> I can't do that. Dude, my bed is just full of tape right now. You see, the problem with this tape is that I can't see what it is. Oh, I get a glance of whatever that is. I can't tell. So, there we go. Problem with this tape is that I can't see where it starts. So, yeah. Oh, screw it. I'm going through here. I got it out. There we go. Okay, so it's an LG G4. I'm really hoping this doesn't boot load, or boot loop, not boot load. Um, let's see, is it charged? No, it's not. Okay, so yeah. I'm really hoping this doesn't boot loop, because if it does then that'll suck, but, I mean, it wouldn't be super surprising because it's an LG G4, and LG G4 suck with boot looping. Look at all this crap. Oh my god. Alright. Anyways. 
here's the iPhone. Alright, so I got Wi-Fi set up on the 6. You can see the uh, markings on the screen right there. So I think that's moisture damage or something like that. But that is no worry. I could care less. I still got a better one than my 6. I still have my 6. It's right here, by the way. Yay. It's not iCloud locked, by the way. Um, continue. Whoops. Oh, okay. Touch ID, as you see. It works, and voila! Almost done setting it up, and yes, he was right, this was dead before it got to me. It was fully charged, I think, uh, when he first put it in the box, but battery is just complete garbage that, um, it, yeah, it just sucks, okay? So, I'm gonna have to replace that, but that is no big deal, because I'm excited to do that, honestly. But yeah, here's the, uh, G4. As you can see, works. Oh yeah, here we go. Install updates manually. I don't want updates installing on their own on my iPhone because that crap gets annoying. <laughs> I've been trying to keep it on an older version. I don't want that happening, so yeah. Oh, so this, I think this is iOS 12. Um, I can tell by the wallpaper in the background, but yay. Oh, I'm so excited to use this thing more and to fix it up and whatnot. This is going to be a very fun phone. Doesn't this have 3D touch? I can't tell. Yes, it does. Yay. Okay, so this is cool. I can't wait to use this more. This is going to be a really cool phone. Um, but, yeah. Putting that to the side, here is the BlackBerry. And this is what I'm going to be maining, because it's a cool phone. Let's see what Android version it's on. It's on 6.0.1, so not bad. Uh, this is going to be a different phone. Really cool, though, because it's a BlackBerry, and I love Blackberries. Also, it's in basically mint condition, so that's even better. But, um, yeah. Okay, let's see if it boot loops. I'm really hoping it doesn't, but if it does, then no big deal. I'll just sell it or something. If it doesn't, then that'll be really, really cool. Because these things are so prone to boot looping that um, it's very rare to find one that isn't boot looping. And if it is boot looping, then it's really not surprising. If it's not, then that's really cool. Oh my god, it's not boot looping. What? <sighs> Wow, Ryan, um, TechTheYT, he's gonna be surprised at that. I bet you. Um, what is this? Powering off. Oh, okay. Because it's dead. But, yeah. There we go. There's the LG G4. It's going to shut off because it's dead, and I turned it on way too early. But, yeah. There you go. BlackBerry DTAC 50. LG G4 that's not boot looping, which is amazing, and I'm very, very happy about that. And iPhone 6S, 128 gigabytes. I'll show you in the settings real quick. As you can see, where is it? Oh, right here. 128. Um, and it's on 12.1.4, so that's what I'm going to, be, going to be keeping it on. I'm not planning on updating it any more than that. But yeah, this is a really cool phone. And these are too. I'm very excited for all of these. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you like seeing this content and want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any more of that, of course. And yeah, I've got to go now. I have another video to edit. So yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.